Hi. In part one of this video, we saw a summary of the Centrify capabilities. So uh, for me to be able to set up uh, Kerberize, um, my Hadoop services, I needed to have two weighty join systems. I have my uh, Hadoop 1 system. Notice that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's joined to the domain. Uh, from a governance perspective, I, I created uh, a computer role, and this is just a set of computers for my Hadoop cluster here. Uh, those machines are already joined to the domain. If I look at the servers here, uh, you will see that these machines are running uh, CentOS 6.5, right? Um, in addition, I've actually created a Hadoop and Bari operator role for granting access to this particular set of machines here and I've assigned the role to a group in AD. So I basically have enforced the least access principle and least privilege principles. Um, so now the first thing I need to have is, you know, I need to have uh, basically the key tabs that I'm gonna be using to Kerberize the services. Uh, so I'm gonna walk through the Ambari setup. So I have this uh, uh, Hortonworks Ambari uh, node cluster running already with limited services because this is a demo environment and Hadoop is very disk intensive. All we need to do is go to the admin section here and uh, set up security. And basically what we do, we enable security, uh, click next on get, getting started here. And uh, we proceed to basically add uh, the realm name in this case in my demo environment is corp contoso.com. And uh, my Kerberos utilities are under user share centrify dc kerberos bin so i'm going to accept the defaults here if i pre press next i'm going to basically have a list of all the users that i need to create if i open and download this as a csv um, i'll be able to um, to basically take a look at what are the you know the principles that i need to create so I'm gonna go ahead real quick here and open Notepad. Um, the, the good thing about this file is that if you have a key tab generator file, you, you know exactly what are the names of the principles and uh, what are the names of uh, um, you know the, the host and everything that you need to create. So in here, we're gonna basically leverage uh, a tool, it's called AD Key Tab. And AD Key Tab allows us to uh, you know, either manually or automatically create all those principles. Uh, notice that there's shared principles in this particular file as well as individual principles. This is why it's very important to have a naming convention for this type of thing, okay? So uh, I already created a script and copied um, over the files on each machine to create this automatically. I'm gonna start first with, uh, with Hadoop 1. The first thing I need to do is to k init. So I'm gonna go ahead because uh, AD key tab is Kerberize as well. I don't need to, I could all, even automate this step. I don't need to provide a password. So user share uh, and uh, Kerberos and then I'm gonna initialize, uh, initialize as Jerry, who's the person who can create those, uh, uh, sorry, the, those, uh, those accounts. So I'm gonna do a K in it. And um, my, uh, the OU that I've designated for this account is actually this Hadoop, uh, Hadoop OU. Notice that it's empty. So after I authenticate here, I'm going to go ahead and run my uh, key tab uh, 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 script. So more. And this basically is a script for me to create all, all those principles that were specified in that particular file. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, execute that. This is gonna create all the accounts for me. One of the, that's a great capability that uh, Centrify provides. So what's the benefit here? That when you create or, or you expand or contract your nodes, you need to add more principles based on your deployment. So this is gonna basically create those accounts for you. Same thing I'm gonna do here on uh, uh, Hadoop 2. So let me go ahead and, and grab that K init command. So I don't have to type it again. And let's go ahead and type it here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, so one of the things that, there's shared key tabs in there. So one of the things that this is gonna do is copy uh, some of the shared key tabs over. So let's go ahead and do that. So 
So now this is they have dupe to uh, key tab. So notice that we're uh, in my naming convention. Basically, what I've done over here is that the service accounts are going to have uh, basically the host name dash the name of the service account. And this grows. This is only a two node cluster. So this is going to grow uh, based on the size of your cluster. So now that I have all the key tabs in place, all I need to do is I verify that the AD accounts have been created. Um, ideally, there's a process for you to either randomize. Uh, basically, AD key tab randomizes the password, but uh, down the road, you may have a policy that says, well, it needs to be changed every certain amount of time. That's a process to keep in, time, in, in, in check. Also, we need to make sure that the key tabs um, have the, uh, the proper ACLs or security based on what's spit out of that uh, CSV file. So notice that all the accounts in here, I know that for example, for data nodes, HDFS and name node, I, I expect HDFS to be the owner, but also the proper ACLs. Once everything has been in place, all I need to do is go back to my, uh, uh, you know, to my, uh, uh, to my enable security wizard, do an apply. And all this is gonna do is going to stop all the services and restart them again. So um, what we'll do is, because this can take a significant amount of time, we're gonna pause here and then come back when it's done. So we can verify that all the services are up. All right, now that uh, the security wizard has finished, we see that uh, some services failed at start. Let's, check, let's go and take a look. All right, so let's go to the dashboard. And depending on the performance of your um, of your cluster, this may or may not start right away. So, for example, I hear I see that Nahios and uh, HDFS hasn't started. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and start this one. Um, in theory, well, in reality, um, a Hadoop cluster is not designed to be in a virtual environment. So I always get a lot of timeouts. If there's an issue with the uh, with the permission of the key tab or something like that, you should be able to pick them out in here. In this case, notice that they are all starting. Most likely my uh, S name node typically fails. It's a performance thing. Um, but this is, um, this shouldn't be a problem. Um, and ultimately the benefit to your organizations is that now, you know, you don't need to stand up a, um, basically a uh, an H, uh, a Kerberos MIT realm that you need to deal with ad moves and changes, make it reliable, and possibly having to have uh, a an AD trust with a Kerberos realm. You go straight to Active Directory, and the benefits is that Centrify, you know, uh, the Centrify Kerberos tools are uh, extensively tested against Microsoft implementations of Kerberos, you have a, a, an access model that gives you both role-based role access as well as uh, advanced auditing if required. And you can rely on your existing processes. A lot of people don't, uh, don't, uh, don't pay as much attention to that, but not having to change your processes uh, and keep reusing them, that's actually um, where a lot of organizations are all, uh, able to deliver. So I hope this video was useful to you. Um, there's a bunch of things in terms of planning that needs to be done. This is just one piece, which is the uh, infrastructure piece. There's obviously the uh, user applications, but many of them leverage uh, NSS and PAM, uh, so you should be good in there. Um, I hope this helped.